Across 12 years of Minecraft, the developers at Mojang have hidden a bunch of secret references and easter eggs across the game. Some are sly and clever, some absolutely wild, and some changing the game as we know it. And I guarantee there's a bunch you've never heard of. This is Minecraft's History of Easter Eggs. Two. Enjoy. Back in 2010, while Minecraft was still in inf dev, it already had an easter egg waiting to be found. Any players named Notch would drop an apple upon death. Although the game didn't have multiplayer yet, so this was just an inside joke between Notch and himself. But early next year, Notch would create one of the first real easter eggs in the game, the title screen. One in every 10,000 instances of Minecraft would display the text Minceraft as the game's title. Back when pigmen were first added to the game, they came in with a hidden texture easter egg. Taking a deep dive into the files revealed a secret thanks to the player Zephobia who created the texture that Notch then used. Ever witnessed a floating birch tree, random 2x2 tunnels, or ominous pyramids or shrines? Well, you're probably being haunted by Herobrine. In late 2010, rumors began spreading that Notch's dead brother was haunting Minecraft, but thankfully Notch decided to soothe everyone down by removing Herobrine in every changelog for the next four years. Now, the devs stopped continuing the legacy around 1.16 back in 2020, but what's really sweet is that if you look closely at the very newest version of Minecraft, you'll notice a special someone making a cheeky cameo. On September 9th, 2011, with the new edition of Splash Texts, Notch and the gang had already hidden a few easter eggs for us to find. The Splash, this will never appear on screen, is in the files of the game, but true to its name, will never show as a splash. The Farland Splash was added, ironically, five days after after the Farlands were removed from the game, and the splash missing no is a reference to Pokemon and used to show as just that, but in 1.14 was actually changed to show nothing at all. Combine that with Mince Raft and that's a rare title screen. The April Fool's update for 2011 spawned in a locked chest that when opened prompted the player to buy a Steve Co. and Supply crate key. Following the instructions to the Minecraft store opened up a whole other can of worms. Clicking proceed to check out triggered a screaming Velociraptor from Jurassic Park which would fly across the screen and yell at you. Oh, and did I mention? It would give you a seizure warning if you spent more than $10,000. Good one, Notch. It was around- The cake is alive. <clears throat> it was around this time that enchanting was added to the game in a very cryptic language. This language was taken from the Commander Keen game franchise, and while it is translatable, the messages are all gibberish with the occasional easter egg thrown in, including, but not limited to, a Simpsons reference, jabs at rival game companies, and ritual chants to pray to Cthulhu. The addition of Minecraft's new horror show, its 11th disc, appropriately titled Eleven, is 1 minute 11 seconds and 111 milliseconds long. Not only that, putting it through a spectrograph reveals a really creepy image that resembles a Steve face along with C418's signature. If you're confused where the C is, there's a dozen. On March 22nd, the first chiseled block was added to Minecraft, marking a tradition of hiding secret mob faces in chiseled stones. You've got creepers, withers, wither skeletons, piglins, an old warden, guardians, and uh, cyclopses. With the introduction of capes a few versions back, a lot of the new ones had custom easter eggs hidden on the underside. And on the topic of special character modifications, the famous DJ Deadmau5, or Deadmau5, would now have special ears on his Minecraft skin, a reference to his famous mask. With the final painting, for now, added to Minecraft, it's probably a good time to mention that every one of them has a secret meaning. This one's a Donkey Kong reference, this one is pretty obviously karate fighters, but can you guess what this one is meant to be? Is it a boat? A small village? Just another work of abstract art? Nope, it's actually four people skinny dipping in a pool with an old man resting shirtless in the corner. Also, I bet you didn't know these three paintings are all Counter-Strike maps, so that's cool. It was around this time that Mojang decided to get festive, and on Halloween, hostile mobs would spawn with pumpkins on their heads. Also between October 20th and November 3rd, bats could spawn at a light level of 6 or less instead of the normal light level 3 or less, which I guarantee nobody asked for and nobody cares about. On the topic of festivity though, around Christmas time, Dinnerbone added a secret skis texture into the game, and then stated on Twitter that it was a red herring, and then added it back as a hidden file the next year anyway, after saying it was useless. Way to mess with the community, and maybe one day we'll get them back. At least we also got Christmas themed chests. April Fool's Day is back, with Java Edition 2.0. This 
they brought with it redstone bugs, pink withers, fattening mobs that explode, a literal nightmare mode with mobs that attack you in creative, and tinted glass. Hey, I know that one. So turns out not all the features were useless. Naming a mob dinner bone or grum now turns it upside down, with a few certain exceptions. What some people don't know is this also works for players, hence why dinner bone skin renders upside down. On October 23rd, a secret new structure began generating in Desert Pyramids on the Legacy Console Edition tutorial world. Four gold blocks and an obsidian block. Can you guess what its name is? The Tower of Pimps. The SS Stumpy from Stampy's Lovely World as well as Stampy's House were also added to an island on the tutorial world, a really sweet easter egg to come across. A less sweet easter egg though would be the new crash reports. Whenever your game would crash, it would leave a witty little remark in the report, including, well, that was awkward, hey, that tickles, and a My Little Pony reference. On October 25th, a hidden feature was silently added into the game called Super Secret Settings. Clicking this would toggle a bunch of wacky, weird, and strangely LSD trip-like shaders that really did not help the game experience, but hey, they were definitely there. December 10th, 2013, and Jeb decides he also wants his name to be an easter egg in the game, so now renaming a sheep with the name tag Jeb underscore makes its wool cycle through the colors of the rainbow. And only a few months later, in June, and player XYZen420 contacted Ryan Holtz, a developer at Mojang, to request the addition of his girlfriend's lost pet rabbit Toast into Minecraft, and lo and behold, Toast the rabbit. And of course, let's not forget this monstrosity that used to spawn naturally? Mojang, what were you thinking? Speaking of Jeb underscore, by the way, the Alex skin modeled after his luscious locks was added to the game with a secret second layer. Toggling the opacity of this model would reveal parts of Steve as well as a pair of glasses. This was also the time when Mojang developers decided they wanted to start hiding their own names in textures of the game. Jeb signed the Elder Guardian and Guardian and Sarge the Armor Stand. A little later in 1.14, Jappa would geniusly revamp the Armor Stand texture to include his own name alongside Sarge's. There are also a lot of texture easter eggs that contain invisible pixels from past models, and let's just check them out yourself on the Minecraft wiki. The most egregious example of this is the wolf collar texture that has an entire transparent wolf hidden in the file. Before he left Mojang on May 22nd, Notch decided to add one more splash to the game, Notch Heart Easy, a reference to his girlfriend who has the IGN Easy, which was promptly removed from the game. On October 14th, the splash text 0% sugar was secretly changed to 1% sugar. Why? We'll never know. The April Fools update for 2015 was the Love and Hugs update. It replaced dungeons with homes, added liquid cheese, heart and obsidian boats, riding ghasts, riding players, and a full love meter that lets you play a bootleg version of Minesweeper. And of course, the creeping dread of crippling loneliness. The update also added a secret event that took every player's YouTube profile picture, found the average color, and turned it into a custom firework of that color. Well, technically Minecraft didn't do that, but this code does for anyone that subscribes. So if you want to be a part of the fireworks show I'll be holding next video, then definitely be sure to subscribe to claim your own unique firework. But one truly notable easter egg is that if you load up a super flat world in the Love and Hugs update and let it snow forever, the snow would come together to create a QR code. Scanning this QR code would reveal the true name of the upcoming update, the combat update. Gross. Now running the command slash help in a command block would return a funny easter egg message to its users, such as sorry, no help today, or ask for help on Twitter. While well, actually I think you mean <laughs> That's the new Cave Sound 14, another one for the horrifying collection but this time with a special easter egg. Running it through a spectrogram and visualizing the audio reveals a secret creeper face. Very spooky. The random purple glass you find generating on end ships is an easter egg referencing the original design of the ships, where a beacon would generate as a placeholder until the elytra was added as the actual reward. The April Fool's update for 2016 sent us straight into the digital age, with all the hip pop culture trends like VR goggles with an actual display, smartwatches, ankle monitors, and the long-awaited USB charger block. A very funny easter egg is the name for the VR display goggles, saved in the files as can'tseecaptain.png. As of November 14th, Vindicators named Johnny will now take on a super hostile AI and attack any mob in the game besides other illagers and surprisingly ghasts, as a reference to the movie The Shining. Now you may have known this one, 
background, but what you probably didn't know is that this is the same AI that was used to code the Zoglin mob later in 1.16, just swapping out other illagers for other Zoglins. And speaking of illagers, one of the coolest easter eggs in the entire game is the fact that evokers can turn blue sheep red with a magical transformation spell. It looks awesome and totally fake and is a reference to the game Age of Empires. Typing excited ZE, the IGN of a former Mojang employee, into the crafting guide now turns the entire game language into pirate speak, revamping every block name in the game for better and for absolutely better. The 1.14 banner pattern thing might look like it has a weird and arbitrary name, but for those of you that have been playing the game for a while, you'll know it as the old Mojang logo. Mojang being obviously the name of the company behind Minecraft, but also a Swedish word meaning gadget or thing. Speaking of gadgets, the April Fool's update for this year was the 3D shareware update. This update was fitted with a Sega-inspired intro screen packed to the brim with Doom references and full of cheat codes ranging from Age of Empires to Pink Floyd songs. The devs joked that it was a lost version of Minecraft from 1990. Definitely one of the best easter eggs is that typing how do you turn this on spawns a horse that can run over a hundred blocks per second and can jump 34 blocks into the air. On May 17th, Minecraft's 10 year birthday, every cake in the game would have a little tin candle over it to celebrate. Prior to being overwritten by the new launcher for 1.14.2, the old one was packed with various easter eggs. Hovering over the play button without actually pressing it would summon a random mob from the bottom right corner. The top left typically had a transparent creeper face but had a 1 in 11 chance to display the shrug emoticon instead, and finally pressing Control b would play an experience orb noise. Probably the best update in Minecraft history, the 2020 April Fools update 20w14 infinite introduced infinite dimensions that you could access by signing a book anything you wanted and tossing it into a portal. This update was packed with various easter egg dimensions including brand, missing, gallery, message, secret message, sponge, shapes, terminal, and so many more. And of course, the dimension Weefies crashes your game. As of May 29th, 2020, piglins now do a little wholesome dance whenever they kill a hoglin. There was also a joke video tweeted out by the devs of the hoglins doing a really, really funky victory dance back. But sadly, that feature isn't real. On a more optimistic note though, a really cute easter egg is that baby piglins can actually stack on each other to ride baby hoglins. The item replace command allowed you to put whatever you wanted on your face with a few secret easter egg positions. End rods would go on your forehead, bones in your mouth, cod like a mouthpiece microphone, banners and feathers above your head, leads like a monocle, and fence gates like glasses. In 1.19, just last year, four secret paintings were added quietly into the game. These paintings, earth, fire, wind, and water, were only accessible with commands and look really cool. The warden was also added to this update, with developer Brandon Pierce saying that its design was inspired by the monster at the end of disc 11. Epic full circle moment. In remembrance of Technoblade, both a pig with a crown and an iconic splash text were added to the game. Two other splash texts, made with lave and no, were added referencing an actual typo of lava in the game's code and the iconic yen scream from the mob vote. The April Fool's update for that year was one block at a time and completely overhauled the inventory and pretty much every interaction in the game. Some notable easter eggs include a rideable ender dragon, PETA approved Spider-Man mechanic, a new name tag easter egg for iron golems, barrel camping, and a hidden folder in the game files with two new sound effects, awesome intro and the old oof hurt noise, and so much more you really have to play for yourself to experience. Each armor trim has a secret pattern resembling something in the game. As an item, eye is an eye of ender, the model of vex looks like an evoker while the item looks like the wing of a vex. The ward item resembles the souls in the warden's chest, rib makes look like a wither skeleton, snout makes you look like a piglin, and host just makes you look boring. And the vote update. This April Fool's update was a totally insane update and let you vote on any mechanic you wanted to see in the game. It came with aether portals, crafting air and packed air, a very suspicious banner pattern, bottles of mobs that let you transform into them, a baguette, a french flag, and the whole french mode, Mr. Ray Tracing himself, the moon dimension made of cheese blocks, 
inhabited by moonwalking cows, and finally the return of skis in the game files. A wacky update, but a good response to the radical propaganda against the mob vote. And the best part is, there are definitely a bunch more easter eggs we have yet to find, including the three $50 Amazon gift cards I've hidden somewhere in this video. Thanks for watching, peace out, I'll see you next time.